it sounds like David Dobrik might be done with his vlogs for good. As you guys know, for the past two years, David has kind of taken a step back from his videos. During the peak of his YouTube channel, he was posting three videos a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Once the pandemic hit, things changed. The vlog squad took a couple of months off while the world shut down, and a lot of people actually saw that as a good thing. Um, it's been a while. I haven't posted in a while. I'm still not going to. Um, until this is all over. In the meantime, I have I have been hooking up with Natalie. The only video that he actually did during the pandemic was him giving away things to people on the street, and people actually really love to see that. During a time when so many influencers were ignoring guidelines, partying, and not caring about what was happening in the world, it looked good on David to actually take a step back and put it all on pause. It also gave the other members of the vlog squad a chance to explore and grow their own projects. Zayn and Heath actually started their very own podcast only a few months before the pandemic hit called Unfiltered. Zayn and Heath! Oh my, I cannot believe this day is finally here. I know. This is something we've been talking about for literally the past like four months. A long time. It's crazy how much time has been put into just this becoming a thing. During the course of the pandemic, it's become really successful. They have over a million subscribers on their YouTube channel, and they easily get a million views every episode. This week, they posted an episode titled, What Really Happened on Our Europe Trip, Part 1. They recently went to Paris with David and a few members from the vlog squad. It's 9.47 p.m. in Paris. That's so sick. It's so light out. David's been really active on TikTok and Instagram documenting his trip. A lot of people have noticed that David has really started posting more frequently on TikTok. He hasn't posted in over two months on his main YouTube channel. He hasn't posted any podcast episodes in forever, but he posts pretty much every day on TikTok. Well, Zayn and Heath kind of confirmed that David might be done with the vlogs during their podcast this week. They were talking about their trip to Paris, and they said that David didn't want them to look at the Eiffel Tower until they actually got there. Apparently, he was telling them to cover their eyes until they actually made it there. That's so cool. Whoa, that's much bigger than I expected. Why does it feel like you just gave it to us? And they were kind of confused as to why, because apparently the vlogs are done. We get in the car and we go straight to the Eiffel Tower. We're like, we got to see this. <laughs> uh, so we get in the van. We all hop out. We're like doing like this whole reveal thing. It's our first time seeing and it. So we couldn't look the entire time in the bus. It was so annoying too. David because was gatekeeping the Eiffel Tower until we got it, there. Like, stop looking out the window. Don't look, don't like look. Like the vlogs are done. The vlogs are over. <laughs> Why even, are we still being no. surprised? He wasn't vlogging no. though. He just, no. wanted to he, he just likes to see the surprise. He likes a reveal, no matter mm -hmm. what it is, on or off he camera. So we're like, all right, fuck yeah. it. It's our first time. <laughs> we'll let him see our faces. They quickly brushed what was set off and just moved on. But like, that's kind of huge. I don't know if he meant that they're done for right now or if he means that they're done forever, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if David was actually done with the vlogs for good. Recently, David's been talking about wanting to branch out and move on to new things. A few months ago during his Views podcast, David said he was considering quitting YouTube. He expressed that he's really happy with everything that he's created, but he kind of feels like he's done everything he can do. Mm. Do you want to give up YouTube? Um, yeah, somewhat. Not. I don't know. I, I kind of do, kind of don't. I feel like I've done it. I don't know. I don't know how to answer this in like the sweetest way possible. There's different days where I do and different days where I don't. Like I'm so happy with the videos I've created and I made so many of them where I'm like, I've completed everything I wanted to finish on YouTube. Like I'm like really content with those videos and like that's it. Like I do want to put a bow on it and wrap it up and be like, Next next thing, what else can I do? Can I go fishing? <laughs> right. <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't know. Um, but yeah, and also I'm not in the same like mindset I was before. He's even stopped posting on his podcast channel, which is really weird. After the stuff with Jeff, David said he was going to start opening up more and being real with his fans on his podcast, but he hasn't posted there in months. He even had an episode already filmed with FaZe Banks, and he never posted it. Back in March, David got called out for promoting a crypto scam called Board Bunny. So I wanted to get my feet a little more wet with some NFTs, if you know what I mean. So I kind of went to the tippy top of the NFT world, and check this out. I got a Board Bunny. And not only is it a Board Bunny, but it looks like me. 
Look at that. He got a ton of backlash from it, so he did a little bit of damage control and invited FaZe Banks on his podcast to educate him on NFTs. Banks considers himself like an expert with all of that stuff, so he went on to teach David more and figure out a way to make the situation right. Finished recording views, David Dobrik's podcast with him, Jason, and Natalie. Um, we went into some really bare bones, just education on the space really what nfts are the vision the future of this but it never happened it was never posted and neither david or banks has ever mentioned it again there's been no new episodes and everyone's been wondering what's going on his comment section is filled with people saying things like anyone know why they haven't posted david stop being lazy and record did the podcast die? What happened? I really think David might be done with YouTube. I mean, with everything that's going on with Jeff right now, I could see him just being done and wanting to move on. With David being sued for so much money, maybe his lawyers are advising him not to post. This is obviously a complete conspiracy theory, but maybe he'll try and counter Jeff's lawsuit and say Jeff talking about him is causing him emotional distress, so he's not posting or making money right now. It just seems really odd that he decided to stop posting right after he got word about Jeff wanting to sue him. It could also be his way of trying to avoid any negative comments, or maybe he thinks he won't have to address the current lawsuit if he just stays away. Since he's been posting on TikTok more and more, I kind of expected there to be at least some negative comments bringing up the lawsuit and what happened with Jeff, but there really isn't. Most of his comments are all pretty positive, and there's even tons of people just asking him to return to YouTube. As for how David's doing since hearing about this lawsuit, he seems to be doing pretty good. I mean, of course you can't tell how someone's doing just by a few videos or interactions, but so far, he isn't publicly showing any anxiety over this lawsuit. As we talked about earlier, he went to Paris with a bunch of his friends right around the time of this lawsuit breaking. I know if that were me, I'd be an absolute mess. Can you imagine having the stress of litigation, having to secure lawyers, and having the possibility of losing and having to hand over 10 million dollars? I think that would stress most people out, but David went on and had a great time in Paris. During Zane and He's podcast, they talked about their experience in Paris with David, and it sounds like a pretty stressful trip. They said, at one point during the trip, David was out there yelling in the streets of Paris, stopping cars that weren't even Ubers or taxis, and he was shouting at these people, saying he had American money and wanted them to take him to where he wanted to be. Right, we so <laughs> all the Ubers take like 20 minutes to get to you, so David is waving down any car, not taxis, anybody. <laughs> He's pulling people over. Just he, trying to stop people yeah, on the road, like, take people. us, <laughs> will you take and us? we don't have cash. So I have American cash. I have $25 American cash. So David's screaming in the middle of the street in the middle of the night, $25 American. We have I money. Have cash. I, I have money. Like I have money. And we're all just like. And the there's way. groups of people there's all like looking at there's like, I was David. like, stop screaming. You have cash. Have Take money. us somewhere. We have, we're American. We have money. And, and we're <laughs> stupid. And Obviously, his friends were totally embarrassed by this and they also realized just how dangerous it was. Then, the night before they were set to leave Paris and head for their next destination, they all decided to go out clubbing. Heath and Mariah left the club at a reasonable hour, knowing that they had a flight the next morning, but David and Zane stayed behind. The next morning, everyone was ready to leave for their planned flight, and David and Zane were still out drinking and missed the flight. I'm just like, I hope they're packed up and ready to go. So we pack up. Natalie said, okay, the car's gonna be there, cool. So Heath and I get in the car with Natalie and Todd and we're packing the, the car and our suitcases alone take up all the space in the trunk. And I said, oh, they're gonna have to call a new car. How are we gonna fit all the bags? Todd and Natalie aren't saying anything. <laughs> we get in the car and the guy is about to drive off and me and Heath are like, oh no, 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 we have more people. And Natalie was like, actually, I was like, what? She closes the door, she goes, they're not coming. I was like, what do you mean? Then to top it all off, David apparently left his friends with all of his luggage and expected them to deal with it. David, for some reason, just gets a taxi and goes to the hotel without his bags, <laughs> no nothing. 
just makes that decision to go. In my head, Ilya went with David. So they both left. I guess I'm stuck here with the bags. Literally all the comments are talking about how David seems like a horrible person to travel with. David sounds like a nightmare to travel with. Every time they mention him, I'm like, why did he do that? Is it just me or does David sound like a horrible friend in all of these stories? David leaving you guys and his bags for you to deal with is so odd. So it sounds like Jeff isn't the only person that David isn't the greatest to. As for the vlogs being over, I think there's a great possibility. Yeah, they found a lot of success doing it in the earlier YouTube days, but now their fans have grown up and things have changed. A lot of people realize just how dangerous and reckless they are and people are over it. I think the Jeff situation really made people see a different side of both the vlogs and David. I mean, let's not forget, David is now in his mid-20s and the rest of the vlog squad are in their early 30s for the most part. The days of the frat type videos are kind of long gone. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think this means David is done with the vlogs or do you think he's gonna come back and he's just waiting for the whole lawsuit to blow over? Let me know and I'll see you next time.